Hi there, students. A farce. Farce can be an countable noun and an uncountable noun. And it has its corresponding adjective, farcical. So, farce is a style of comedy or humour in which ludicrously improbable events occur. There's slapstick comedy. One person hits the other and so on. Crude, exaggerated characters. So, for example, Laurel and Hardy is farce. The play, The Importance of Being Earnest, is a farce. Home Alone is a farce. The situation is highly improbable and the actions of the thieves in Home Alone is ludicrous. That is farce. Shakespeare wrote a farce, a comedy of errors. So, it has a ridiculous exaggerated plot, exaggerated, improbable and unbelievable events but they're funny and it makes you laugh. Now, you can call something a farce in real life. It's an extremely disorganised event or situation. And perhaps the solutions that people use are absurd. Okay, so for example, the chef dropped the sauce on the floor and then he picked it up again with a dustpan and brush. The wedding was a farce. Everything went wrong. Even things you just wouldn't believe. The bride's dress fell apart. The priest turned up two hours late. And then he was drunk when he arrived. He was as drunk as a lord. And then after the party, everybody got food poisoning. Okay, that's a farce, yeah? This is a farcical situation, yeah? So notice, if you call something a farce, it's, you're being strongly critical. You're saying ridiculously badly organised. Ridiculous and improbable things happen, but in reality. Notice... Farce, or to farce, has another meaning. To stuff something for roasting. So, if you're going to roast a chicken, you could farce it with sage and onion stuffing. Um, and the farce is the stuffing that you put inside. Notice, though, this meaning of um, farce is quite unusual, and most people won't know it. Yeah, So I would just stick to a farce, a type of comedy, or ridiculously badly organised. Okay, so a farce, a style of humour, the play was a farce, or a disaster, disorganisation, ridiculous um, happenings. This government is a farce. Sometimes I think my life is a farce, ridiculously badly organised. The management of this company is farcical, yeah, a farcical event. Okay, I think I would give this adjective, this noun, um, probably a six in formality. Um, a farce as a style of humour, six informality. I think you could use this in an informal conversation because it is what it is. Um, and I think if you call a, dis a disaster or disorganisation a farce, I think I might give that a five informality. So I think you could use it informally. I think the, this word farce you can probably use just about anywhere, semi-formally and even formally. Let's see, 
this comes from French, um, meaning either to stuff, to fill, farci, or you um, a comic interlude, a little piece in the middle, or in during a play, during a mystery play. And originally this word comes from Latin, farsus, to stuff. So, I don't think this video's been a farce. A farce, a style of humour, or a ridiculously disorganised disaster. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Farce. Farcical.